welcome back to my channel so you guys are probably students maybe in high school um, maybe you already go here but I wanted to share this video because I am a senior at Virginia Tech and I was thinking about things that I didn't know that I would have loved to know before I got to tech things that people don't tell you that you kind of learn but it would have been nice to know beforehand so if you haven't seen them I have made a bunch of videos I've done um, a room tour um, when I lived on campus. I am planning on doing an apartment tour of where I live now and then I've also done um, the interior design program and also my story of transferring from my previous school to Virginia Tech. So I plan on doing more videos about Virginia Tech. I actually met a subscriber in one of my classes the other day which was kind of funny and she was like oh my god I watch your videos so she is a freshman and I figured that a lot of people are probably watching those videos and want more about um, Virginia Tech and I feel like you guys might have you might gain some insight from that. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's get into it. The first thing is about buses. So the bus system is really great at Virginia Tech. Um, it's not always the most reliable, but it's definitely great. I haven't had a car all of my years that I've been here and I've been able to get around very easily. But one thing is when you are getting on the bus for the first time, have your Hokie P out and having your Hokie P accessible when you are getting on the bus. Because if you're getting on the bus a lot, you're always going to need your Hokie P. What I love to do, now I don't know if I'm the only one, but I know people actually get the card holders on the back of their phone, um, but I have a see-through phone case. So I put my Hokie P in the back of my phone case and I just show it to the bus driver when I get on the bus. Super easy, super helpful. So I recommend getting a clear case and then just putting your, your card in there instead of trying to you know, unzip your backpack and have to have it in your hand and then putting it back because that just opens the chance for it to get lost and you don't want to lose your Hokie P. The next thing about the bus is downloading the BT Transit app. That will be a lifesaver. That literally shows you what bus goes where, at what time, how to get there. It's really awesome. The app is great because it gives you times that the buses come, where the bus stops are, what buses go where. Um, it's just a lifesaver. You're going to need that if you plan on taking the bus and if you want to get to the Math Empo, um, really anywhere that you want to go, Kroger, whatever, the bus is the way to go if you don't have a car. So definitely get that app. There is an old one and a new one. You might be watching this and I'm probably Probably already graduated and the old app is gone but I actually have both because one only gives you um, one has a live map the newer one has a live map and then the, the older one if, the, if you're closest to a stop it'll show you the times like right then and there instead of the new app so I have both but get one of them they will help you and make life so much easier when you're trying to get on the bus and if you obviously don't know where you're going then ask some ask the bus driver ask somebody on the bus we're all Hokies and we're happy to help you. And also, if you feel like you're getting lost, you're never lost because you're just gonna go back to campus. So don't ever feel like you're lost and don't get scared on the bus. That concludes the bus part of this. Um, the next thing I would say has to do with food. So I love, I'm an interior design student and I am housed in kind of the, by the Johnson Student Center. Um, and so we always go to Turner for, most of us go to Turner for lunch, but I recommend not going to Turner on the busiest hours because there are so many people, the lines are so long. Literally, if you wait 15 minutes after the high hours of the day, you will not have one line. Like it's absolutely insane. So basically what I'm saying is don't go at 12 o'clock, don't go at one o'clock, go at two, go at 2.30, go at three, um, just don't go, just go at off times, don't go at the high times of the day. Another thing, I recommend wearing comfortable shoes no matter how how short of your walk it is. You're definitely gonna have to be walking no matter what. If you're in a freshman dorm, you have to walk across drill field. Um, and you know, I take the bus directly to where I have class, but I still feel like I'm walking and walking and walking. I walk to the bus stop, all this stuff, so that is definitely something wear comfy shoes or just buy a pair of comfy shoes don't wear heels don't wear like high platform i mean it obviously depends on what you can walk in but i just recommend comfy shoes 
you know sneakers whatever and then on the note of walking and drill field i never had to cross drill field in the winter because i transferred and i actually lived on campus three times out of the four um, when i did transfer and i was here for the summer program i did live in a dorm but in the winter you want to invest in a winter jacket because it is cold and it is windy um, on drill field. I've walked across it obviously during the winter but I didn't have to do it repeatedly because I wasn't a freshman living on the campus but it is cold and windy. You're gonna want pretty much a parka. Definitely dress warm. Don't just wear a sweatshirt. It's freezing um, so invest in a nice winter jacket. Another thing that I wish I knew and wish I had um, were rain boots and an umbrella. Do not leave your apartment or whatever or dorm without an umbrella because you never know when it's going to start raining in Blacksburg and you'll be sorry when you don't have one. Last year and it happened twice where the sun was was out and it was shining, it was warm and then rain just started happening and it was like whoa like rain did not belong at that place at that time so you never know when you're gonna need an umbrella rain boots is great if you know it's gonna be rainy because if you're walking a lot you don't want to get your shoes ruined so rain boots are a great investment so rain boots umbrella and a parka you're gonna need them next thing is about the gym so i like going to the gym but i don't like going to the gym with a lot of people so there's this little hidden place it's probably not going to be hidden anymore after this video sorry to everyone who who goes there but there's a little spot in McComas if you go up by where the track is there's a place that has basically kind of everything you need to do a workout but it's just this like small area they have treadmills they have free weights um, they have a few other things and even around the track there's these little niches that you can actually go in and work out in um, so if you don't like to be with all these people in the downstairs or like the treadmill area you can go to this little hidden spot it's right when you walk in you go up the stairs and then it's there it's a great way to kind of work out if you don't want to be around people but you still want to get your workout in it's it's a hidden gem so love that place i'm sharing it with you guys because i hope you guys can enjoy it as much as i did um and it helps kind of motivate me to go to the gym when i don't feel like going to the gym um but yeah it's a great place next thing is if you guys don't know there is an annual snowball fight cadets versus civilians so basically the first snowfall of the year when class is canceled everyone goes out on drill field and then the cadets and the civilians have a snowball fight it's pretty cool there's videos online of it um, drone footage and it's just a really fun thing I am actually I've actually never been to one but it looks so fun and I regret not going to the first one when it actually happened so I'm looking forward to this year hopefully I get to go so definitely go to it don't miss out that's basically what I'm saying. Next thing is I totally recommend joining a club. There are so many clubs on campus. I had joined a service club and um, I am also part of an interior design club that kind of goes along with my major. And it is definitely a great way to network and make friends um, and also kind of find this avenue to pursue a passion. So if you like something, you know, find a club. There's this whole website dedicated to finding clubs and you can, you know, easily access what you want to do for that club. So, you know, for example, there's a YouTube club, there may be a drawing club or um, a religion based club just like find something that you're passionate about and go for it um and you won't regret it even you know find a friend that would want to go to that group so you guys don't have, you don't have to go alone and then you'll kind of make friends from there and kind of pursue a passion that you've been wanting to do in that way so definitely find and join a club that you're you're wanting to do the next thing that i actually learned being here when i transferred over the summer by the way summer in Blacksburg is awesome if you have the chance or the money to do an extra semester during the summer here definitely do it it's really great I had a bunch of friends made friends during my summer program but it was a really great time and point being I'm saying come here in the summer because you can go river tubing which is really awesome you should definitely go it's called New River and you can go tubing down the river with your friends if you're 21 you could drink and it's just really fun and then also cascades which is a hiking area and then at the end there's this big waterfall and you can jump in you can bring your bathing suits um, obviously swim at your own risk but it's a really fun opportunity to get out in nature it's a beautiful place if you have friends it's even more fun so cascades and 
river tubing is awesome and especially in the summer you can do this with friends as well so if you're here on campus in the summer go get out and do that um, and then obviously if it's warm out in the end of the year or even the beginning of the year in like September um, late August then you're able to obviously do that as well so definitely try that out if you guys don't know about that and then also in the fall there's pumpkin picking apple picking don't be afraid to drive places and see new things there's also breweries and just there's a farmer's market just like get out and go do things and it's really fun i also love the fact that blacksbury has their downtown area um, where there's a bunch of shops to go to and just places to explore so definitely go get out and explore them the next thing is don't be shy to study in new places there are so many places to study on campus there's johnson there's new classroom building there's a library there's torg hall definitely recommend going to check out torg Bridge. I meant Torg Bridge, not Torg Hall. Um, it's a really cool environment. It almost reminds me of like a Harvard-esque movie type of vibe. It's really cool, but don't be afraid to change up your places. You can go to Starbucks, you can go to a coffee shop, you can go literally anywhere. I love new classroom building. It also has views of Duck Pond, which is really cool. Definitely don't be afraid to change up your, your learning environment. And then another one, I have two more things. So the next one is to download the Duo mobile app. So Duo mobile is the way that we kind of two-factor authenticate passwords to get into our Virginia Tech accounts. Um, definitely download the app. I noticed some people that are actually when I was a junior that still use the app to call themselves when they need to kind of two-factor themselves and that's just a lot of work. If you get the app, you literally just click um, send app notification and it'll send it on your phone. You click allow and it'll get you right in. No phone call, no text message, no trying to put numbers in. That also helps you at the math info because you need that to authenticate your login. Um, so definitely download the Duo app and don't go without it. Last but not least, one of my favorites because I love food and I also love sushi. Um, this has nothing to do with sushi, but it has something to do with food. Definitely don't be afraid, don't be shy to walk to downtown and get something to eat. Um, if you feel like you want food, go to Greens, it's great sushi. Enjoy Main Street and just that vibe, but definitely go out and try different restaurants, different places once in a while. I mean, maybe it's not in your budget to eat out every night, but if it is or if it isn't, once in a while just get out and try to do that i try to treat myself when after like a big deadline or a big project i'm like all right i'm gonna go and get greens because i really want sushi um obviously you can get it delivered but just kind of go out and see the places around you to eat because you'll experience new tastes new foods and i think one thing i realized before i transferred when i was at high point is kind of the lack of food that i had there and i felt even more trapped because of the fact that I was eating the same food. Not having that kind of variety of food made me feel like I wasn't getting out and living and I pretty much live to eat. I love food. Um, so I think just sharing with you guys to get out and eat at places, bring your friends, go to Benny's, get a slice of pizza, um, just do any of that and really enjoy the food around you. It'll make you happy, soothe your taste buds, um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. Luckily, Virginia Tech is number one with food. Being Italian, I'm not sure if I agree with that, but I do agree that they do have some pretty good food. They do have sushi, they have fried rice, they have Godoba, they have a lot of different varieties, they have crepes, which are really good. Um, but just get out and eat and explore the culture around you and the food and all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you'd like to see a part two, let me know. If you have any questions, need advice or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment down below or even DM me. I get a lot of Instagram DMs about Virginia Tech and coming here and transferring. I hope you guys enjoy your freshman year at Virginia Tech. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos about Virginia Tech. Leave suggestions if you have anything else that you want me to talk about. Um, I'm here for one more year. Obviously, I can still make videos after I graduate, but... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!